What is up, everyone? It is me, Colin. Not the Mega Mushroom, but I am Colin. And today, this is, I believe, the 32nd video of my World Record Review Series. I think? Well, let's, check, let's actually check that. So let's go to my YouTube page. Also, not to mention, um, Twitch May 10th is like down right now, so I get this. So, by the way, just wanted to mention this. When you go, when I go to like Twitch, this is what I get pretty much now for no reason. Yeah, it wasn't like this yesterday, so it randomly happened, and it's actually happening everywhere on Twitch, but whatever. But let's see how many videos I made 31. So, yeah. 30 second video awesome so anyways 30 second or i mean 31 videos so far on my playlist but this is the 30 second video of my world record review series so what let's, let's get it going so we have mushroom gorge a 140.780 set by connor i believe he set this, I know in October, he set this on da, 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 da. October 21st, 2020. Let's give it a watch. Now, first off, I'm just going to start off with the bag. I like to say this a lot. I know most of these now are going to be very strong records, but this is a very strong world record. It's not one of the strongest, but it is a very strong world record. Probably maybe the 12th or 11th strongest world record by far. But this track has gone through rich history of optimizations and strategies and the shortcuts in general. Now, currently, this is what... Yeah, also, he gets turn skip like that, but... This is what Connor does. So pretty much, it's, it's like Toad's Factory inputs when doing the Shroomla shortcut, something like that. You're like holding left, you're holding um, left and then right to get air, and then you make a Shroom, and you can do that Shroomless. And for the history on this, I want to just talk about the history. Um, back then, people didn't do, um, drifts while tricking on the mushroom pads, and there's a reason why some of the times to this day weren't really that strong, but once we got a little bit deeper in, um, I think in mid, something like 2012, we started doing drift ramps off these mushroom pads, and then you could skip off this um, this mushroom right here. And Connor does that three for three. And Fox actually mainly had the world record on here for, from mostly 2013 all the way to 2017 until Blaze took over and started to get this down. And Blaze did the spin drift method, which as you can see, Connor did that on lap three. Since doing that on lap three is faster than doing it at doing it then lap one and lap two because you're finishing at the very end and for lap one and lap two you're when you land once you do the mushroom gorge gap jump for lap one and lap two you can release that mini turbo and cancel out the chain wheelie i believe and it's pretty broken and this track has many micro bounces which makes it one of the most inconsistent tracks actually in this game mainly the case section in general but these mushroom pads are a big issue. And they're mainly like the big roadblocks for players that are playing this at a high level. Including myself, I don't do this. I do the old method actually. And I have a 142.898 on here, which very proud of myself for that. But yeah. Um Blaze's previous record, though, he had a record that stood for 706 days until Luke, um, until Blaze improved it again because of the new strategy. Then Luke started doing this 
and then Justin, Luke, and Luke, then Connor gets the first ever 140 on here, which is ridiculous. And then back in the day, a 141.256, without any strategy changes, that was actually a very strong world record. Well, actually almost one of the strongest, to be honest. That's what Emmy said, but I'll go with him on that. And then Connor and Daniel just battled it out. Daniel was really battling this until he finally got world record, which is the 140.928 set on August 31st, 2020. And Connor's first ever 140, which was the first 140 on Mushroom Gorge, no glitch. It was set on August 2nd, 2020. And then Connor kept going down on here. And it's very hard to improve this track because of how inconsistent it is. It's very similar to DK Summit and Maple Treeway. And Koopa Cape, I think, as well. But mainly DK Summit, Maple Treeway, and Mushroom Gorge are like kind of like that. And Connor um, got first 140.8 in September 11th, 2020. Was, of course, on 911. Um, I go out for all the um, all my pra all my prayers go out for the ones for those people who lost their lives on that day. I uh, still I hope they're doing good in heaven. But anyways, um, and then Connor. Got two improvements in October, but yeah. Um, now, talking about the the track in general, um, this track is has a little bit of tech to it, and, like, yeah, I always have to do this when I, when I don't press my... Like, there's pretty much mainly tech to this track, especially with the... This turn skip and the gap jump makes it quite tech based. And then doing a mushroom skip, um, this other mushroom skip, like skipping off the red mushroom, or no, skipping off the green mushroom, um, I'll show you right here. So you can trick on this, get low air, and then do that. And that's pretty useful. It saves like a second at least, or something like that. But yeah. So. Do I see this being being at the end of the year? I don't think so. I think Connor is like going for, I believe. Yeah, look at that. It's fucking ridiculous. But I think Connor's going for Toad's Factory, no shortcut, second worldwide. I think, maybe. Um. Let's see, what else? Um, if Connor or Daniel or anyone else wouldn't play this, tr this category for the rest of 2020, then, well, next, like, well, um, 16 days, um... I could see this record in particular standing for quite a while. And honestly, I actually see this being beaten, beaten in 2021 if Connor would pick it up or anyone else. I would say Mushroom Gorge at the end of 2021 will get down to I would say a 140.675, at least somewhere around there. And that would definitely make it one of the strongest records by far. And what's surprising to me is that most records that are one of the strongest are in the 0.7 ranges. Like, let's, let's take it for an instance, GCN, Peach Beach, No Glitch, Luigi Circuit, SNES Ghost Valley 2, no glitch. Mushroom Gorge, no glitch as well. Um, what else is another one that's strong like that? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like that for some reason. I don't know why. And then, like, Havoc's previous, you know, GBA Bowser's Castle 3, no glitch time. Was in the point six range. That's similar to DK's time on Bowser's Castle No Glitch. Like, a lot, of, a lot of these times in general are like very similar. But in all, um, uh, this track in particular can still go down a little bit more. The current best splits actually give I think like a one forty point five. 
five. Like, let me check that right now. I'm gonna check that on my computer while I'm recording this because it's, because I actually forgot what it was. But I'm gonna check it for all of you out there. Current best blitz give a one forty point five five eight. Wow. So. Yeah, there. There could be a chance of that we could actually get a one forty point five on here if someone wanted to go for it. But I think Connor's gonna have a very long reign on here, in particular, since I think Connor is the true king at this track now. I think it's kind of obvious that he's the true king at this. Back in the day, there were only three major kings: only Connor, Fox, and uh, Blaze. So I think Japanese player um one two one two is not really like. I don't know where one two is though. These are like old players, something like that. I don't know, but. So. In regards to this. Um. The improvement improvements I can see on here is optimizing the cave a bit more optimizing. The turn skip, um, the turn, turn skip mushroom optimizing, the sh the mushroom cut and as well as optimizing um the turns a little bit more. As you can see, these bounces are pretty critical, in your run in runs. So, but yeah. And this chain though into the, into the, cave. It's not really that big of a deal if you were to take a different approach to it, but I don't know. And also, for one of the task runs, I believe, you could go to the very left of that section. Hold up. So there's a boost panel on the left side, the left, um, the left, um, track. Um, that one, that, that one right there. You could hit that. And preserve your wheelie, I believe. But I don't know if that's going to be done humanly. So I don't really know for sure. And I'm going to be making a lot of these videos today. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, it's surprising also that Connor doesn't go between the stocks. And he got a little nudge right there. Well, probably lost like 5 to 15 milliseconds. But surprising how this is a 140.7 without going um between without going inside the stocks like i don't know why nintendo would want to put the those mushrooms right there like seriously i don't know what the point of doing that is but that that stock is like did they really know that like, it was gonna happen like that because those things are a run killer and they can really fuck up your runs so it really sucks that these roadblocks are in this w are in these ways are in this way. So, yeah. But I don't think I have anything else to say about this track in general. If you all want, if you guys want me to like in the comments in the comments section below, tell me which um which tracks you want me to see in the upcoming videos and. I can't do ones that I'll be planning, but you know, well, actually, I don't know if I, if that's a good idea. I I kind of like look through my list and see which ones I have to do. But yeah, but I think for the second one, I'll figure out what the second one will be for today. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching this um this video of me reviewing Mushroom Gorge No Glitch. Very fun and enjoyable to watch the series in general and like me just just commenting comment commentating on this, but yeah. Um also reach this out to others if they're interested in watching this because I'm I'm almost done with this series and I'll try to get done with all these videos by the end of 2020. But yeah. Um next video will be out in like I don't know, like thirty minutes or something, but I don't know. But yeah, um, I'll see y'all later, all right? In like, nothing really. I won't really see all you later. I'll be keep on making these videos, but whatever. Um, see y'all later. Peace.